We are on day 12. I'm going to sketch this cello player. He's from the Dingyi Music uh, Company. And let's go. If you look at the photograph, uh, I'm considering doing very simple layering. Layering is one of the simplest way to bring a sketch to life. Well, let's start by drawing with my trusty Palomino Blackwing. Um, again, outline the shape, ignoring all the background. Um, and uh, once you get the outline, I can go in to do all the tiny detail, the cello, the parts, the legs, the hands, the fingers, uh, even in this case, I do go down to try to differentiate the fingers, uh, although sometimes I ignore it, but uh, yeah, you can see that uh, for yourself. So simple sketch, not very complicated, anybody can do. The reference photograph will be available for you to download in the link in the description below. The first thing I do at this point, I'm thinking, hmm, I should just blur out the background. Well, blur meaning I'm just going to create uh, a background, you know, color, a mixture of uh, some dirty color that I have in the palette, uh, probably uh, French ultramarine, permanent alizarin crimson, some kind of a uh, purplish, and toned down with a bit of uh, lemon yellow or quinacridone gold. Uh, I'm painting with a slight 45 degree angle just to give it a bit of uh, character uh, to the uh, sketch, um, and that's it. That's the first layer. I leave it to dry and it's not very complicated to do and second layer i'm thinking hmm all right for the foreground i'm going in to put in the colors the local colors in in other words i'm going to do the first layer using the local color that i see the blue blazer and then uh, some kind of a brown or a darkened uh, trousers basically and also the first layer of the cello is a queen burnt orange with a bit of yellow thrown in. This sketch took me a little bit longer than I thought but uh, it should still come out just nice. Let's see. So once the local colors are put down, uh, I'm thinking hmm I should be mixing the second layer but let's don't get let's not get away uh, carry away with uh, ourselves. Uh, again I'm gonna look at the photograph for reference where the darks are and lighter per uh, version. Well, anyway, I'm putting down brown for the trousers and uh, brown for some of the bits and bobs of the cello, uh, including some of the shadowy part of uh, the cello. So you can see that I am trying to be aware of all the highlights on the shoe. The shoe is very shiny. Uh, his uh, right shoe um, on our left, but on his right. And when I put on the second layer, you can see that I'm putting in the shadow part of the uh, the trousers the, and even the chairs I'm being very careful not to completely slap one single color but leave lots of little little highlights of white uh, in it and the way I'm thinking about this is that uh, it is going to uh, basically put in um, second layer for well, creating form if you like or creating a three-dimensional sense of uh, the cello and the arms and uh, the legs and so on and so forth basically the torso of the body the figures is coming alive as you put in more and more shadows right and because of the aggressive nature of the shadow that you can see in the photograph I again use a fairly aggressive manner to put in the shadow as well uh, the contrast is pretty uh, significant in other words uh, a value of one will jump to a value of four and that's the sort of contrast you're looking at in a harsh uh, lighting environment such as on the stage right here. Uh, it's, the color is very saturated as well. Uh, I may not be able to get that saturation, but uh, um, at least I'll get uh, the color and the contrast as much as I can. When you're painting and sketching something as small as that, you have to let go of some information. You can't put all the information you see onto the sketch itself is just way too much. If you really want all the tiny detail and the information and so on, you probably have to do a A4 or A3 type size of sketch. Then you can really go in, draw in all the tiny little hairlines and fingers and nails and whatnot, and they were all popped uh, and you can go for hyper realism. It takes forever, but it's possible if that's what you want to do. Uh, but with a small sketch like this, which is an A6 size postcard, 
you really need to lose detail you really need to forget about the micro and just focus on the broad broad big shape that you can see with your eyes the problem is our mind gets in the way because our mind sees the fingers and the hair and the eyebrow and the teeth and whatever and you know and it gets in the way you, you see the strings and you want to draw you know all the strings into the sketch itself of course that's just you know getting in the way of a truly truly nice and loose sketch right because after, after all you're looking for a sketch not a, a photographic perfection of a painting well not in this case not in this size at least right so now i'm going in to uh put in a bit more rough view of where the, sh the curve of the eye sockets are and a bit more uh, variety of the orange on the cello uh, or reds if you like uh, a bit more variety of the shadow itself and uh, maybe put in a bit of uh, lines for the glasses and so on just hint 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 so the sketch is so small that you just need to hint and not to really go at drawing it out because anyway i don't have a brush for it i don't have a tiny little brush and so on put down the shadows on the floor uh, to indicate some kind of uh, cast shadow uh, the lights is coming from the left hand side and it's casting to the right and uh, putting my name sealed uh, two words uh, waiter actually it means we take the anglified version of my name and uh, that's it i think i hope you enjoyed this uh you know longish uh, video today but may maybe it gives you a little bit more idea on how some of this sketch can be done uh, relatively easily and not to stress out uh, always remember focus on the big shape focus on the big you know big thing right uh, yeah so now highlight going back in to get some of the white that I lost the highlights on the cello highlights on the uh, the, the basically uh, the shoes and you know some bits and bobs here that I see the string you know I, I think there's some highlights uh, based on the string not too much not too ghastly just right so that's it nothing very complicated uh, as I put in the highlights I try to be uh, minimalist with it uh, can see the highlight but not too much right so um, I hope you enjoy this stay safe and uh, stay creative we take out